What? We never had a um, so I can tell you this is everything I wrote at the last meeting. Okay, well this is what I wrote today, which are dimensions of a... It's, if you can give them out. It's a garland show <coughs> that's being offered to us by the Lions Club. For the... It's a six burner. It's a six burner range with a 30, 32... It's 32 inches deep. It has a grill in the middle. I walk by this thing at every Lions Club dinner, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm like, oh, that's a nice old stove. It's a garland. It needs a couple of parts to get the oven working, but the burners and the grill work fine. How many burners? Six. And it would probably take... Okay, they're heavy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's five high. feet by 32. Mm -hmm. So it would be, um, I guess, it would take like six of Ed and three of me to move this. <laughs> okay. I've been listening. But you, you know, it, it, it's and he's it's, injured. Right. Now, yeah. doesn't that only be one of right. them? Exactly. Yeah. Hey. So, but you know, it's just the opportunities there. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the opportunities there to get this thing down. We ought to go ahead and take it down. Man. And that's free. Free, free. free. And you know, we could store it. The width? We could store it. Uh, the width is it's five feet. So six feet I think it I think it will fit in that back wall in the kitchen. Well if the, if the other room is gone. Well. You need a flat room? No, we have one. Not the one that's in the front. We had it sitting tilted up against the wall. That's the solar? That's solar. That's in the uh, that little shed. That can be used as a little bit. And then we also have that small one that we got. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just it. What I'm thinking all along, we've discussed this before, we've talked about a bunch of stuff from Hypertop. Okay. Some of it, we've got a three day sink that was as big as a table. Yeah. We're never going to use that. So we're looking to maybe find a commercial. Where did it be? It's a big ass sink. That's a big ass sink. Yeah. But um, just so we can fit what we need, where we, where we need it. Um, I think I can get us a smaller three day sink. We need a three day sink, we're looking at a hand washing sink, really. That's all small, we need. maybe even buy a plastic one from Home Depot. It's just for quick pump washing. Mm -hmm. washing, right. washing Can we do like a laundry sink? That's one thing. Yeah, utilities. Hold on, let me see what I'm doing with the one that I just pulled out of downstairs. Because I'm re cementing the whole downstairs, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to use it. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, because I mean, you have to be for small, small dishes. That's a film dish. If you can get the wall to be polished. Can hear you. He can hear us. <laughs> well, the, uh, the point being is that if we do get you know, stove like that, if we find that we don't need it, would there be an issue if we were to basically combine that with the sink and a couple of other things that we've purchased to get something we need? If we trade it. We're thinking about going to a commercial distributor. Yeah. And this one of the clients that we've used and, uh, is to trade. So we don't need this, we don't need that, but we do need one of those. What do you give us for this? Right. Right, I suggest we acquire it, and if we don't use it right away, we can store it. Right, we can put it in the pole box. We put it in the pole box. Yeah. 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 I would, by all means, I would say yeah. I don't believe it has many electrics for any rodents to be chewing the way it has. So well, even if they do. That's the problem I have with really yeah. right now. Even if they do, that's just a lighter, and that's yeah. a match. Just Was it uh, propane? Yes, yeah, propane. Okay. Yeah, uh, you know innovative energy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kevin. Kevin, yeah. Yeah, so talk to him. And, uh, yeah, he's in control of it, so uh, I told him I'd just let him know in the morning. Uh, and 
Yeah. 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 We set up a time to end. He's got a lift truck. <laughs> Again, it's, <laughs> you know, there's no spring chickens here. Mm -hmm. At least the guy knew that. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. You know, Besides the, the can of menudo. <laughs> <laughs> so essentially, that would enable us to do basically a full kitchen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, if we are able to do more cooking at the cook shop, would we be able to utilize that more for different community events like yes, outside? Exactly. So it wouldn't just be yeah. At this point, we're turning into a commercial kitchen. Yeah. We've got a commercial freezer, we've got a commercial refrigerator, we've got a, a, a huge uh, cooktop. Well, the other one we have in there, I'm going to say it's, you know, when you get rid of that, you need a small one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you need one. Right. Like we have a stove, and we have a stove, and the fryers. Yep. And an yep. Well, yeah, yeah. and this one would have that. Yeah. This still has, has, has that too. We also have a convection oven. Yeah. Correct. And, yeah. and if we lose any space with a, a grill top, this one has a grill top. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah. It's like it's all. There's a yeah, wind right up yeah, to the place, I'll uh, say right up to uh, the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a big wind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking because when we were, we were talking about wanting to do like a family fun day in the fall yeah. or something, yeah. it, if well, we have this, then that's a good way to have possession. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be everything. Yeah. We, uh, the American Legion, we're going to be having a picnic there. Uh, the League, Will be before Veterans Day. Uh, I'll be too big that. Day. I think it's right. September 12th. Yeah. Uh, you said before Veterans Day or before yeah. Memorial Day? Yeah, we celebrate, we do Veterans Day on the 11th <laughs> month, the 11th day, the 11th hour. <laughs> we are very. Well, that's when the armistice was held. So, September 12th is a Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. So would you be doing it on a Tuesday or would you I'm be doing sure. it on a Tuesday? I'll have to get back to you yeah. on Monday. Probably a weekend. It's a weekend. Yeah. Probably like 10. <laughs> well, wait, Tuesday, that's when we have our meeting. That's when we're supposed to have a meeting. Okay. Right. Yeah. So it's Tuesday. probably either Sunday or Saturday before. Right. Or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll, I'll. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, I'm not sad. What? Yours is colored and mine is not. I couldn't, it would well, you know. Don't even what go there. Right? Um, <laughs> you want me to trade? I'll give you some of my color ones. No. I had some. <laughs> yeah, right. I got my curly pen from there. You go right ahead. Busy they keep yourself taking up. it down from Danbury. They yeah, what? Somebody oh, keeps really? taking them down at Danbury. Yeah. So this time, yesterday, I picked two of them up, one on each side of the board. Yeah. That's something that we've discovered a lot. Yeah. I have an idea, but yeah. well, we can put one up at the town hall, and, or not the town, not this town hall, the other mm -hmm. town hall. Um, I want to put some up at the dump. I just either that, or I don't know how often you go. I don't go, but he goes. I go on Sundays, yeah, Wednesdays, and I did have only one complaint about the spaghetti dinner. I'm trying to. Spaghetti was cold from one of the trays. I don't know which tray. Okay. I think the flame was out on one. So. I think so. Mm -hmm. and, but that was the only thing that was said. Everything else, everybody loved. Especially the meat sauce. Yes. Everybody's well, really doing meat this, sauce. to be honest with you. It's something we may want to look into. The really ones? The collapse. Yes. I mean, that was a real pain. Well, and I think we also shortened the time. Yep. Yes, this time. Mm -hmm. Five to seven or just a little Five to seven yeah. until so <laughs> Because that's it. And we've gotten a lot of responses on Facebook as people that want to come. But then you never know as it gets closer, if people remember, if they mm -hmm. have other things that come up or commitments. So, um, but we do have Mex real Mexican rice coming from 20 hands. Yes. Oh, nice. Okay. They're going to get it from Grotto's. There are other restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. And they also have a Musano's. Yes. Yeah. Or Musano's or whatever. Well, they have two. They have two others. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do some, yeah. And then Gene Mitchell's going to do rice. Yeah. Um, Boone is going to donate the dessert. And then, what was it, Dan you said did the... Dan rice? did the meat. Um, <coughs> and then I have... Um, I have Cami who said a when we get closer, let her know, and she will either donate some vegetables or to make, you know, to do whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. Like if we need chopped up. And, and that's in the field, right? <coughs> yeah. No, that's not. Awesome. She's grafted. Right. Right. How, mm -hmm. uh, how many, how much black beans or refried beans do you have? It's one of those things that's a little bit of a long way. Some people yeah. love it, but most of them, it's just a taste. Yeah. So yeah. I'll, yeah. Just, I'll just pick up the kids and go ahead. I don't even think we would meet. I think that would almost be. Well, we could kind of keep it. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. 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 You know, go by the expiration date. Anyway. Yeah. But that's stuff. Right? No, no, and I think like Glenn is saying, it does. It's a. It's one of those things you use for Yeah, and you're gonna have you know what two uh, two tablespoons is really probably a serve yeah. what serving would be. So, yeah. and, and then we've, I've got some of the jugs for the drinks. Um, but we're still waiting to see if somebody will donate the powdered stuff. If not, I'm just going to go buy it. The I'll powdered buy stuff. Um, I figured, you know, because we can keep making it. And, and now, I have a question for you at, at BJ's. Do they sell the gluten free taco shells? The corn shells? No, I do. Okay. I, corn, yeah. like hard shells? Are hard well, shells yeah, hard considered shells. great? Yeah. So would we have to. <coughs> but some of them. <coughs> corn shells are non gluten. Mm -hmm. Right. The regular shells are gluten because those are flour. Yeah. yeah. Flour. Flour. But those are soft shells, so we yeah, would have your the, choice. They do the hard too, don't they? Yeah. The, yes, they, but usually you use those because you're fry, like making an enchilada and then you're gonna fry it or yeah. I mean I, you can do it however you want. You can get a cauliflower shell. Oh, okay. It's, I mean, I would think that if we're offering a corn shell. I guess then if they really want soft shell then they would be screwed. But I was thinking if you have both hard and soft then you're covering both mm -hmm. gluten and gluten free. Yeah. Because I know Jean is gluten free. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Well maybe we can reach out where we know she is gluten free and she came for our last dinner. Um, maybe we can just reach out to her and find out if hard shells are okay or if she would prefer something else. Because I would not hate to alienate somebody who wants to come and support us. 
Um, right. Can't eat but can't eat, right, but can't eat anything. And so, Just, that's rice? no, rice is a carb. Yeah, that's not yeah. Anything that has a carb in it is not. So, like, people who can eat, who are gluten free, they can eat Doritos because they're corn chips, corn chips. but they can't eat, like, cheese curls or whatever you call them, Cheeto mm -hmm. things. Okay. I just that. learned on this one. And I don't, and I, so I don't know if the potatoes are gluten free or not. Mm -hmm. they, they are. are. Okay. okay. I mean, most. I would think most of your vegetables yeah. are. It's more of like carb stuff that yeah. would have that flour. It also depends on the facility and where the crops is because if they use, if they use enough, there's a trace of flour. Okay. Uh, so people who are uh, gluten extremely intolerant, yeah. yeah, they have some. Okay. Yeah, I, I, most people have like that. Gene, um, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Gene, yeah, she is. Yeah. Terribly. And gluten -free. she did well with her spaghetti dinner because yes. we have yes. a gluten free yes. option. So that's why we don't want to alienate right. people that want to come and right. support us. Right. And she, her and Clint do. You know? yeah. 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 So we want to make sure that there's an option here for her to come and actually right. be able to enjoy dinner. Well. Because I don't think she'd be able to do gluten free. We get gluten free shells at the pantry. At the food pantry, yeah. Um, I mm -hmm. think they're made by Ortega. Really? Corn shells in themselves do. Mm -hmm. Not the corn shells themselves do. Not food. if they have a trace of flour. A lot of they'll say gluten free on them if they are. Um, you know. They use the flour, the corn shell. The other thing too I've got in the habit of doing this because I've been talking every Tuesday night is I'm really good at my taco shells so I'm very careful about what you get. Yeah, a lot of time I'm really in a box of this and I'm going to throw it in the book. Yeah. And that's like, like so I've got in the habit of actually opening the box in the store. And checking it. What are you doing? I want to make sure I can eat my tacos. You have to put all the edges in there, man. Because I can burn my day. I open a box of tacos and get everything cooked and it's like, Wait, oh, we're making the chips. Yeah. Um, I don't see you brought a bowl. Oh, I probably forgot that. And that's yeah. Uh, because I thought it was in the season now. California. Yeah. If you get up right. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. Just right. Yeah. I mean, who wants black and brown and black? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can buy that cost. Yeah. And we already have well, coffee, correct? I have not here. Last dinner, so we don't need more. Um, um, the Mexican restaurant in Bristol's. Yeah, I haven't hit them yet. I'll, I'll be there Wednesday. Okay, well, there you go. You got some papers. They, uh, yeah, we've got lots of stuff. Yes. We've got some old age sauces. I remember when we first opened them. So I think it's good. Yeah. So, yeah. Talk, 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 talk to Ted and go on. Yeah, I'll have him uh, go and do the, right. if he's going to go there. Oh, I need is uh, put the sign off sheet for the area. You got it right in there. Yeah, I know right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah got it. But uh, my point being is, this is something on the list. I we don't need to get. I crossed them out if you look. We don't need hamburger. We don't need free fried. Uh, we don't need rice. Those are, we don't need coffee. And you got oh. DB. Okay. 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 All right, so you want me to cross those off? Or you sure. want to? Here, I'll let you. Um, that's cilantro. We can buy cilantro. Yeah. That's, that's, and I, I would yeah, think that that's even something see. that if we don't have, yeah. that's not right. right. Well, no, I've already hit um, Aubrey and Jimmy at Danbury. Tw um, Dollar General, I got, I got an email back from them. They can't afford to donate. At this time, because they're never open. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, no, I had oh. to. I had to go to corporate. You can't go. You can't go. No, I know. I know. So so they they open. Open. They can't oh yeah, stuff. I got the email. They are making record profits. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. No. I don't know if I can pull it up. You pull up the stock and the ticket on it. It's like you got to be kidding me. They're like so far up because they're taking business. Really? Yeah. People think that, you know, either the fuel crisis or greedy workers 
are causing the rise of prices. And it's not. You don't always look at your top and appear. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to load. But yeah, no, I got an email back from them saying that they yes, can't afford that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's because what I heard was that family dollar and dollar general could uh, be uh, bought out to get that. Really? Yeah, family dollars buying a dollar general. Wouldn't one of them own Dollar Tree? Like, um, I think it's Dollar, dollar Tree. Tree. One of them owns Dollar Tree. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, hmm. yeah. Yes. So their money's tied up right now, I'm making a monopoly. Right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that was a, I heard that. <laughs> First of all, uh, Dollar General was it shut, shut down. down too. Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah, that too. Really. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's funny because I was talking to Brian and I said, Would you be in Punish? He says, Yep. He says because the store was so bad that they took him out of Bristol and brought him back over here. Yes, he that. Yeah. Yeah. They fired Crystal and all the girl, uh, girls out. Hmm. I, mean, I thought it was nice seeing you know, could see him over there at the store in Bristol. Yes, but that's what yeah. uh, he's saying. But I believe uh, yeah. because uh, they have new girls in there. Yeah. Yeah. I think they, they're just tall. Not to say anything about it. Well, if they close the store in Canaan, what is he going back to Bristol? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's actually a good manager, because look what he did to Bristol. Yeah. He cleaned them right up, yeah. and when he came oh. back, well, there's the letter from Dollar General. Yeah. Believe that? Well, I think that's why. I think it's hard because that's a corporate store where hopefully some of the other ones yeah. are in local town. and in town and yeah. hopefully yeah. they'll. Well, I know Did you hear back from Canaan? Pizza, House of Pizza? I'm still waiting to hear from her because okay. she's not working as much. <laughs> okay. um, Monica. Monica. So, because she's doing the <laughs> other job and you want to read that? No. Okay. I can't see so, They are in the middle of taking over the country, so it's yeah. busy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know your town is on the decline if a Dollar General pops up. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. All right. I think that's, that's pretty much right. What time are we planning on being here? Are we going to do what we did before? Yeah, well, nice. it's I don't know. I need to meet ahead of time. I mean, really, it's just and I'm happy to give you the plan whenever you want. It's in my freezer at home. Okay. I mean, sauce, that cooked all. Right, that cooked all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's the big, each one is caught. Yeah. Do you want um, the taco seasoning? All right. How many packages do you think you're going to need? 15. So you need. So um, I don't have yeah, any turkey yet. I only have them trying. So I would say 15. 15? I don't know. You want me to figure out you're doing turkey? How much about a pound, you think? It's good to mix in with it, but I mean, if we have enough, that would be. Unless somebody wants, yeah, somebody doesn't want beef. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because I mean that would make one batch, and that's good for ten. ten so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember, we're serving. <laughs> Put your big spoon away, buddy. Yeah. And we should still have some of the serving yeah, spoons and stuff that I got oh, last time. Okay. Um, and then the rest is just prep, uh, slicing up vegetables. Yeah. I mean, the lettuce it gets. Wow. Right, so I think everything, so what did we say, like meeting here at 3 again, <coughs> dinner's at 5, that gives us 2 hours to get everything sliced and cooked and... I don't think it's going to take that long to prep, you could probably get here cool and be ready to go Yeah, but we always have those early exactly. people, so I would rather, be knowing that we're ready to almost put it out so that when those people come at quarter or 5, 4.30, quarter or 5, we're like, oh yeah, come back. Because I don't want to turn somebody maybe like come back in yeah. 20 minutes, yeah, you know. So it would be senior hour. Right? The early bird. <laughs> now, I haven't talked to um, Janet yet about a veteran's discount. The <laughs> lady who made that cake before. I haven't talked to her about Oh, Joyce. 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 
And Brenda, you said donating dessert. Yes. Awesome. Depends and I'll on make what a we dessert want. again, something, either cookies or something. It sounds stupid, but I actually dropped one of these off at Duncan's. So if you can donate do donuts or something. Yeah. It seems like we have more success instead of approaching just the corporate, you know, where corporate head honchos are just right. away to deal directly with, with local people, mm -hmm. you know, because you kind of know them anyway, some of them. Well, that's why I'm seriously considering going back to Dollar General and talking to Brian. Yeah. To see if he but he may that. not be able to. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, and I think that's where, I think we're, you know, it seems like the people that are donating are either individuals that we know or bus local businesses from the community that are in the community and, you know, make sure 20 Hands knows that if they have a, a I sticker or something that they want to put on the thank you yes. board. Yep, because yeah. that's yeah, I want to. That's yeah. what I'm going to do. Yeah. And that way, any anything else we do community wise, we have the board that's board made, board. and we can you know people come in, we can have it up so that because like last time, um, you know, we had got all the breads made, and we had you know we had all these things where I'm trying to tell everybody as they're coming here, like oh bread was made by, but you get busy serving, right. you get busy right. chit chatting, mm -hmm. and you forget that you. I mean, they're going out of their way to help us do this. Like, you know, it would be nice to go. Yeah, I think even if it's just a business card. Right, like, something, yeah, anything, a anything. A piece, a couple of business cards. Put it on a board, and then put it on a whole piece, and you put it right in front of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good idea. Yeah. 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 Thank our sponsors. And like, even when we posted photos of the spaghetti yeah. dinner, you know, I, when I do this, I will make sure that there's a photo of the board, so yeah. that, you know, if people are looking yeah. through, you know, and, and like I said, if people want to stay anonymous, that's completely fine. I'm not going to, you know, put anybody's name up or mm -hmm. something that where they where they don't want the recognition. But something to think about too is you know, we a lot of times get the same sponsors. You know, let's keep that for sponsors. Yeah. Just keep those stuff on. Oh, that, and that's it. I figured if we velcro everything, if we had to take anything off, but it seems. This is the second dinner, and it seems like a lot of the same folks are willing to, Boone is willing to donate again, you know, so I want to make sure that they're getting those recognitions, um, especially where she makes, I'm using just yes. <laughs> yes. She's using the pie online. Yes. Oh, I wanted to get a piece of Hey, you know, when you come down from your house, swing by Kenny and Sherry's place because Booty's got her little box. She out does there. have it out yes, there again. Oh, out there. So, so I'll come yeah. up with some ones. So, yeah, you know, you're going to be coming up the hill. So, yeah, I mean, you're going to be coming up the hill. Like, nice. not an each other. Right. Or it'll call me and ask me to pick something up. Can you get better? All right. So, yeah, she's awesome. Awesome, baby. So we can do use business cards or even letterheads yeah, to okay. yeah. anything, anything. If they have a sticker that they want us to stick yeah. up, I'm not going to attach anything permanently yeah. to the board. Mm -hmm. It will all be through Velcro, mm -hmm. um, just in case another time they don't have the opportunity if to they, donate or just ask for any you know, kind of advertising. Yeah, they uh -huh. may have something. You can always throw it on a copy or magnify. Right. Um, no, yep. And, that, that, and I could do that um, and just so that we. I so. Yep. So, um, when we should be able to do what we still need? So, anything? Days off. Oh, yeah. Anything not marked off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. A couple of days before. Yep. And we just I can offer some money to do it. Not we don't get well, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Like, whatever we can't make, Maybe we can make a phone call and start software. Yeah. And say, hey, yeah. This is what we still need. We need to check out. Now, how are we set for water? Mm -hmm. You want yeah. another case of water? Okay. And what if we have a bottle of powder drinks? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so yeah. You still got those little things in the. Uh, Hold on, or dump ice in, put it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ice water? Do so. Okay. Do so. Now, you were here last meeting. Do you happen to have one of those? What do you call them? Boombox? No. Boombox? <laughs> no. Yes, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, except for there's no internet. Yeah. 
Well, but if you had... But yeah, there is internet, but you have to get special permission from Jay. From who? Jake. Jake. He's the only one that has internet. <laughs> you are the only one that knows where it is in this building. <laughs> so you have to talk to him and find right. out where you're supposed to stand, where we can plug things in to get... <laughs> And he does not let anybody else put him have that spot. So. <laughs> but he won't be here that Saturday night to tape, so. But you but can end up being all over the place looking for I do not have a boom box. And I do not want to drag my Sansui out. Yeah, no. So, no. Uh, Actually, you know what? If you have any kind of boom box, I have 2,000 CDs. And I've got a radio and two speakers over and down and a CD player. Okay. Because that's coming out of the... <laughs> Get rid of that too, huh? Oh yeah, we're redoing the cellar. Gotcha. So if that's coming out, I can donate it for here. Did we spend any night not have music? No. And we tried pulling it up like on our phones and stuff and then we couldn't. And I remembered you telling me that I probably would need to download music okay. to my phone, but I wasn't really quite sure how to do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so I did it. <laughs> those drink containers that you push the button? Yeah. You have any of those? I think. No, yeah, I have some, but I am gonna, I'll bring them with them. Then we, I'm gonna just make. Yeah, we have them in the cookshop. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we can make up like lemonade, and yeah, we can do that right here. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, uh, do we have a name for this besides Taco Night? Or yeah, it's Cease de Sabado. Okay, that that, there? that's good. Sexto de Mayo. <laughs> well, there we go. Sixty. Yeah, sixty de Mayo. Sexto sounds a little risky, I guess. Yes. Don't want to be risky. The crowd boys show up. Don't want to offend nobody. So, yes, okay. Cool. And we won't have another meeting before then because it's three weeks away. We just kind of. Are you on Facebook? Network with each other through the direct committee page. Yep. Let each other or PM each other. That's and, that, and how we normally do it. It's PM. Yeah, I didn't have so, anybody to get them. So. Yeah. Yeah, we usually kind of PM that that way. That part is. Part of it. Then we always just say, hey, did you see so and so said that they would donate this? And then we right. kind of keep like a running tally of um, who's donating what. Right. I will go by, I think it's called Lo Cochina. Is that the right name of the place? Next to those who are. Siena. Siena. Yeah. I keep thinking about this one. Used to be the biker bar. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. They had the best, uh, they had the primary on Friday nights. Those same places in bar. Bristol. Yeah, yeah, right across the yeah, Microsoft. Wow. The old yeah, from, from the really the city diner? place, Budweiser sign in the booth in the windows and stuff like that. You go in there and it's like, hey, you're here for roast beef, yeah. Okay. Primary yeah. on Friday nights. I've yeah. only yeah. ever known it as the Mexican place. And Ooh, I mean, their food is amazing. Yeah. but. Um, I mean, the, a lot of places in Bristol are really coming together. Yeah. Kathleen's does a great job. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. There, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her uh, the place yeah. across uh, from my record store. Yeah. What's the name of that place? Genus? No, no, across from Genus. Oh, the, oh. Uh, I'm next door to Genus. Okay. So the, the, the one, it's the German name, right? Because oh. they do roast beef sandwiches? Yeah, and yeah. They, have a, they have a little bar. Yeah. In there, and it's, I did not know they had a bar in you there. You walk past and you make a left, and oh, it's a good bar. Okay. <laughs> Heavy <laughs> handed bartenders are. Okay. They, they well, you call when you need a ride home. <laughs> <laughs> you can get one. <laughs> yeah, there's a good, uh, what is it called? Rose Hill? Rose? What is the name of that? Yeah. Um, it's right by the thrift store. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it used to be the Golds and Pawn store. Oh, right, right on Main Street, yeah. right across, like diagonal from the gas station. Yeah. Oh, I never I mean, noticed it. Their front it. door is like right across from the antique store. Yes. Where, yep. where my record is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and there's a propane place in there, too. Yeah, Dead River. Dead River. Dead River. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Crystal, Crystal has a lot of, more so, we, we, we parked one day and we're just walking around and it was just like, there's a lot here that yeah. you really should, you and know. You go up on a lake, you got the stone church, and then you've got the big caps who's opening next month. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The same, the girl who bartends at um, Ragged, she does there, she 
goes back and forth between the two for the season. Uh, but there's also the new place where Kathleen's used to be, because you know what Kathleen's used to be? Wasn't it down where, where the you hardware turned? store? Yeah. Where the hardware store. Okay, yeah. and now there's a new, it's a dessert and ice cream yes. place, yeah. I think. But they're, I think, only seasonal. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah. well, the purple pit is always there, too. Oh, that's, they have good coffee. <laughs> yeah, they got good sandwiches, too. I didn't know they did sandwiches. They have a little bit about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, Bristol, Bristol's a hat in the whole town. Yeah. yeah. They have dances there. I went to a dance there a couple Saturdays ago. I mean, it's like the mud season dance. Wow. <laughs> These are my people. Yeah. Oh, my God, they had a good band. It was rocking band. Yeah. 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 That's a cat in the whole town, seriously. See, that would be nice, too, to do something. We should have a dance here. Yeah. You know they're having one in, in Denver every Friday. Oh, I didn't know that. At the community center. They have a good community center. They have a lot that goes on there. They do their 4-H stuff. They they have a chess um, club as well. There. Chess club? In, in, Brist, in Danbury, their community center, they do. They but I was talking club. to Yes, but oh. I was talking to Jake earlier um, because our library actually started a chess club every other Saturday, I think. Once a month. Once a month. Okay, I knew it was something. Um, and that, Jake was saying, it's all skill levels, all ages. Because my son just recently really started to get into playing chess. And I was, I'm tired of playing with him because I lose <laughs> all the time. Oh, well, play with me. So I'm trying, and then I was like, oh, that would be, you know, that would be something. Mm -hmm. If there's more attend, if there's a larger attendance, it'll probably be more right along for that. Yeah. For now, once a month. So. Okay. Okay. Chess is like yeah, chess is like checkers for grown ups. <laughs> yeah, I like checkers. So checkers checkers are good with okay. Connect four. Those are really strong Bobble. games. Bobble. <laughs> <laughs> Yahtzee. 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 I love Yahtzee. Oh, we could definitely do a game night too. That was yes. one of the other things that we had talked oh, about. Yeah, that's meeting. a great idea. And just Sell some, something where we could just maybe sell popcorn or drink, you know, something easy, right. but we would still be making some type of profit for the rec department. And should we uh, have like, uh, hmm. oh. can't have alcohol in public, we don't yeah. have a liquor license. Yeah. That we would have to look into. We had talked about that because a lot of people had asked me about bingo and or poker tournaments. Right. Um, poker. I know how to do like Texas Hold'em and okay. do tournament style or cash games. I, I I would feel comfortable doing that. The thing that I'm not a hundred percent sure of, um, and I can talk to. I believe it's still the Enfield uh, Fire and EMS that do the bingo at La Salette on in Enfield. There's rules about that, and I'm not quite sure what they are and what we would have to follow. Well, um, cause I know like the, the new casino, right? Cause you know, they're moving it from, um, from the, from, from the pizza place right. over to where the Honda dealership was. Right. Mm -hmm. And so in order to do that, which it, and I know it's much different because it's connected into all of those casinos that are in New Hampshire, but they have to be able to every week, they have to donate so much money to different charities or to one charity this week that, you know, in order to be able to stay running. So I don't know how that would impact us as a town if we were to have you're something. A the town is a nonprofit. True, but if you're giving away cash prizes and it's considered gambling, I don't know how that would work. So that would take a lot more research on it's probably a flat percentage. on our part to figure that out. Because um, bingo would be something that would be fun, might get some people out, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Poker, uh, I know a lot about it. We used to play a lot. Five card um, stud. I don't know how to do that. I know how to do. Uh, well, I mean, I, I would think it's the same rules. What hands going to be? Which hand you just get five cards uh, versus Texas Hold'em, where you get two and then you do the flop and then the river and then turn turn and then or whatever. I don't gamble. But I think there's like a because there's usually a rake. So I don't know how that would work in a town thing. But didn't the Legion 
Didn't they used to do Texas? Our Legion? No, we don't. But no, wasn't there one in we Lebanon? No you don't have people. No, but the, the American Legion in Lebanon, didn't they run oh. poker tournaments? Ah, uh, yes. yeah. So yeah, they, they might. a full bar, too. So, you know. I don't know how to go around the. I don't I know, know how we would do the liquor piece. I know New Hampshire is very funky with their liquor laws. So oh, yeah. I don't know how that would work. I think liquor would be out of because of that time. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I, I think that would be, but in order to do a turn, like a poker thing, we would have to talk to people that have done it in their towns. And I don't know, are they following town ordinances? Are they following, like the American Legion, is it, do their guidelines and policies override the town? Because they're, they're doing, you know what I mean? Like, so I, I think there'd be a lot more that we would have to look into in order to hold something like that. Yeah, I don't think the Legion gets like a waiver on all this. No, uh, I, I don't believe anybody gets a But, I mean, to give you an idea of how small <laughs> our, our post is here, I had to do Sergeant Barr for the Legion. <laughs> uh, we read about Jim Griffin's coffee. That's how small it is. And we had a meeting with seven people. And we're like, wow, where are all these people? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, my question on the bingo. I know in Manchester, if you went to, I can't remember the name of the bingo hall, and asked them, can we, you know, we'll come and volunteer to do the running and all that. Right. But can we get a percentage of the profits? Yes, they do. Yeah. Do they do that like in Lebanon? I know uh, the Coney was mm -hmm. uh, over to the arcade. Oh, fun spot, because they yes. have a huge bingo. Right. Yeah. And uh, each night is a different uh, hmm. benefit to uh, I mean, if you have a bunch of us to volunteer, go over and say, we raise $500. Right, right. You know? Right. Might do something. Yeah, yeah. Maybe something. Yeah. And I don't drink, so I'll drive you guys home. Are you doing a game night? That's something uh, my company does. So That's where she got the idea. You put tables out and you set the game. Yeah. You table, you walk in the door, does it set the game start at this time and then this time? Yeah. And then you can just. And you yeah. basically just walk around. Your kids come in and the kids go, oh, what if you shoot some light? I was like, well, maybe they shoot some light. My dad won't let them out there. They put a time limit on so the game's not going to be locked. Kid locked forever. Yeah. And yeah. they have a set of rules that they're not going to be locked. Yeah. So <laughs> three houses, <laughs> that's it. You don't buy any more than three houses. You're not going to have hotels or anything. Yeah. Well, I think that is just it's something that would get people out. It might be more appeal to more mm -hmm. people, and again, we would still be able to do exactly. concessions. But you get you have kids come in, you get families, it's a family night. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, kids can have kids. It's right. Wise, boss can talk to us. Yeah. So, I mean, I fully intend on bringing a couple of cribbage boards just for the for the taco night because you know, I don't know, throw them on the table, or pack take a car there. Sooner or later, five people are going to start playing. Yep. You know? Rummy or whatever, yeah. yeah it's going to be awesome. Okay, I'll bring that down. <laughs> it's a good trouble. Bring it. Just put it on. See what happens. Yeah, I like that yeah. idea. Because I mean, we have a lot of people over here for the spaghetti dinner that stay for hours. Yeah, yeah. just chit chatting. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. have no social center here. But that's what we were hoping, that's what that's we were what trying we're to hope by doing this. So the music, you really didn't miss the music. Right. Because people were chit chatting. Right, but yeah, background noise, though. Especially, yeah. you know, put something I, mean, like that. I have, right, I have some sex, easy. sex music at the house, yeah. you know, I can bring. I've got stuff down on this, uh, is a mixer. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, I think. Both speaking of it, this place is yeah. And just, I, I think you're, like you're saying, background. Just yeah. have it so that it's there, it's you're kind of here, but people are still chit-chatting. I mean, because that was what we were trying to do by doing these dinners, was mm -hmm. to have people come out and socialize Absolutely. and chit-chat with their neighbors and meet people. Because there are a lot of people who have lived in this town for a very long time. And then there are a lot of people that are that have moved into our town, especially through COVID, mm -hmm. that may not know all the stuff that you can do or see or. Mm -hmm. Well, I've heard this name, but I don't. Not I can put a face to it. Which is yeah. The people who bought Hunter's Farm. Yeah. I never met them before, and they're my neighbors. Yeah, so far. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So that's too. And then come summertime, we'll probably be even almost use the rec shack, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. you get lights in there. Yeah. Okay. Not under the big, under the main can't be not. Oh. I'm playing on streaming. Oh, okay. I'll pick something up. That's a candy. Yeah. 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 Yeah
be able to do. Well, it's nice to just be able to be outside. Yeah. You were know, working in the cook. And you use like this and stuff like that. just too good. Yeah. Well, that's a beautiful candy. Speaking of. As our names. Paint. Well, paint. When Artists. will our next. Sorry, while you're looking at yeah. for the paint, when is our next meeting? The, it's still going to be Mondays, right? Yeah. So we're we doing the third Monday, which would be the 15th of May. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No, no, that's fine. I just like to write in the 15th of May. You say 15th? Yeah. Get back here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want me to make you one? <laughs> I love doing I love doing these. My husband laughs at me. You make them? Well, the book is blank. I add all the stickers oh. and shit just because, yeah. Let's see, crafting fireworks. Yeah. I um, I have to in order to stay right. on top of yes. things. It just works better to have things written in and to know what I'm doing. And stickers just make it fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, all right. Now are we gonna have to meet here again? Yeah. Yeah. And so, geez, if it's nice enough, we can almost meet right at the right field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. They probably won't take any more than that. A few people to 
Are we thinking May then, where we're almost done with April, or June? It's probably June, so we run up and we're not having any water issues. So right now the water is still rain hits everything. So the flat six, the whole side of the wind is so pretty. When that goes off, is when I want to talk to you about what I. Which one? Barn red. Barn red? Which one? Barn red. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, she's a. Like, you know, down at the target, that 
I'll get a family that will uh, take a call. Me. Can we reserve the uh, the top guy uh, thing for, for birthday party? For birthday party. Birthday party. Birthday party. Yeah. Birthday party. Yeah. And there's been quite a few parties down uh, at birthday parties yeah. uh, down there. Uh, and nobody's had any problems okay. with it. Uh, okay. yeah. Well, no, I was just hoping that people, like, it wouldn't open up <coughs> black, you know? No. Uh, well, if we have competing weddings in this town, we would really know. Well. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to get married. <laughs> He doesn't know it. We're there. He's not just shut it. Just to make him stand up there and be like, "Listen, we're doing this all over again." So basically, yeah, anytime there's been any kind of event, they have to come down. Okay. So that way they know, like, not to come on like the Independence right. Day. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, the That'd be fun. Fireworks at the end of the day. They came to me. Thank you. Yeah. They went to the town, and the town came to me. And, uh, Who asked it? Yeah, exactly. We're, we're going to yeah. make a page for that. Yeah. Go ask it. Who asked that? Go ask it. <laughs> Go ask it. <laughs> I don't know. Your Facebook work. Go ask it. Okay. 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 I almost bought a horse arena myself to put down there. But it sold before I could get there. Horse arena? Yeah, the ring. Horse arena? Horse arena? All right. All plastic, Ooh. 800 bucks. People are getting out of horses. I'll come down and get it because I'm going to call you with your truck. <laughs> That's good. It's That's sold. Good. It was 100 feet long by, I think, 70 wide, which would have been good enough for now. Mm -hmm. Then we can just add on to it if uh, we want bigger. Uh, yeah. Do we put horses down there? No, I don't know. Oh, we can make some for what? Horse shows. Uh -huh. I don't know. There used to be supposedly Grafton Family Riding Club. Yeah. But supposedly the name is registered. It's not registered with the state. And uh, I wanted to start a riding club. Because you have you do horses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the girls up the road, well, you uh -huh. know who I'm talking about. The new girls are. Yeah. I know. Don't even get me going on that. You mean we're just wrong. No. No. <laughs> no. So Go that's ahead. what you yes. use, and you would use the field to they have they, the horse show. They used to have the horse show yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, like, I've, were they crack shack girls? No. 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 Oh, crack no. shack? Yes. 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 Right. A little red box. That yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, is that not the way you're supposed to? No, that's it what my kids called it. I don't, is it that not the right name? I mean, it said it on the inside of it. <laughs> somebody was living down the top. Really? Right. right. Yeah. I guess somewhat leak-proof, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It was full of cans, full of... And cigarettes. Had a big old, yeah. old birch tree going right up to the middle of it. That's to put your little shelf on for your computer while you're trying to make it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I... Okay. I almost did it. Somebody so. was, it looked like somebody was doing something with the baseball field. Yes. There was. Somebody asked. Somebody asked. Yeah, somebody yeah, asked if Gary, they could. Gary? Yeah, Gary did that. Because they wanted to try to do it a softball or baseball league or something. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, Canaan has a league that they want to enter into it. Mm -hmm. They need But they want that to get people uh, to uh -huh. join Grafton scene so they have enough. People that's the guy that was on the North Wood Estate. Yeah. That's right. He was yeah. asking if I did. Yeah. It was a good place. Is 90 feet apart, like Major League Baseball. Oh God! <laughs> you see these old guys. He <laughs> <laughs> does more talking on the computer than he does. Well, I'm hoping something will like. Yeah. Well, join in, and, and yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes all it takes is a spark. You know, maybe he was trying to supply a spark. Office crew. Split? Okay. Right. Um, Cotyard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the toys. Did you order them? Uh, all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Any pictures? No. Yeah. I've got the fire connection. And uh, the big, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, cool. And one of them is the two-seater, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, you have it written down. You know 